Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela, and today's video is going to be my 29 week update. And the reason why the lighting and everything is kind of off is because it's actually 9 o'clock at night and I'm super tired. So I'm going to try to get through this without having to edit too much because I really want to go to bed. But today is Thursday, so I want to upload it today because this is the day that I turn 29 weeks. So I have everything written down and we'll just get started. So what's going on with baby boy is he's the size of a Hawaiian apple. He is 3.3 pounds. I just um, found that out at an ultrasound I just had the other day, which I will be posting in a vlog. He is about 15.2 to 16.7 inches. He is getting fat deposits, with, which give him his energy. He's starting to dream, and that's basically it for him. Now, this is now I'm going to talk about the things that my body can expect in the following week, which is kicks and crowding headache slash lightheadedness, itchy belly, back leg, pelvic pain, hemorrhoids and constipation, trouble sleeping, lots of peeing, and varicose veins. So some of those I have already experienced before, like the constipation and the back pain and the, he the headaches and things like that. So, I'm just going to get into my symptoms that I've had this past week. The first one is me being really tired all the time. And I think this is because I did actually have my, um, I had clinicals to be an STNA. So, I had to go to a nursing home and I was walking around a lot and being a lot more active than I usually am. So, I think that kind of wore me out and that's why I was so tired this week. But I noticed that is definitely something that has been going on. The next thing is I have been getting kicks in the ribs all the time. And these are kind of painful, kind of not painful. It, it I don't really know how to describe the feeling. But I get kicks in my ribs all the time. And he is head down. So it is his feet. The next thing is I am having weird dreams slash bad dreams all of a sudden. Before I wasn't really dreaming, I'm actually getting dreams. So just like for an example, last night I had a dream that I already woken up, got ready for school, went out to my car and my grandma was driving it. So that's one of the weird dreams that I've had. Next is pregnancy brain. This I've talked about before and I get this all the time. It basically just takes me off track and it really confuses me sometimes, gets me all messed up and I get frustrated because of it. But pregnancy brain is a thing that I have had this week also. The next thing is Braxton Hicks. These I feel a lot. I actually feel them right after I go pee. So every time I go to the bathroom, I get a Braxton Hicks. And every time I have to go to the bathroom, I get Braxton Hicks. So Basically, I get Braxton Hicks a lot of the time, and they're not really painful. It's just kind of my stomach getting really, really tight, and I can feel, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but basically my stomach just gets really tight and uncomfortable, and yeah. The next thing is peeing every two hours at night. So it's kind of like a schedule with me. So every two hours, I'm going pee during the night and which i think that's super weird that that's actually happening that i'm on like a schedule type thing but that is happening currently the next thing is i'm in a better mood now i'm not as moody as i was i don't get as irritated as i have been so the moodiness has died down i still do get moody obviously but I am in a better mood, I am in a happier mood, which I like, which my boyfriend likes, which my family likes. So that's a good thing, I'll take that. And then the last thing I have written down is I am having a lot of pressure in my pelvis. So when I'm talking about this, it's probably just his hands moving around his face because again, he is down there and I feel low movements all the time. But sometimes they get, like, it feels like a lot of pressure in one spot and it's only there for a few seconds. So I noticed that that is something that has been going on is um, pressure in the pelvis for 
only a few seconds. It's nothing to worry about. So, those are all my symptoms and everything that's been going on. So, I'll do my belly shot now. This is my belly shot with my shirt on. Here's the side. Here's the front. Here's the side. And then here it is. Rolled up. Here's the front. And here's the side. And then here is this side. So he definitely is getting bigger and I can definitely feel it and I can feel that he definitely is running out of room. So that's my belly. So thank you all for watching. I'm sorry that it was kind of rushed, but again, I am super tired. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all next video.